Hello and uh, good evening, because it is about eight o'clock in the evening. It's going to get dark very soon. And I'm at Corpach near Fort William in the shadow of Ben Levis over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a photograph of an old shipwreck, a fishing boat wreck, which is just along the coast here with Ben Levis behind. Now what I'm trying to do is get a really nice moody image. I was here this morning and took a photograph or two and I could show them just now. But the problem I had was the sun was literally above the boat and I wasn't really getting a good balance. So what I want to do now is come back when technically the sun is over here in the west and the boat will be clear of any bright sky. But it doesn't look like it. It looks like I've still got a bit of bright sky. But what I'm wanting is this lovely cloud above the bend to give that moody, moody shot. So I'm heading there now. Got to pass over a lock system at Korpach and work our way along the coast a little bit. I'll be there very shortly. So we're coming through the narrower of the two paths to get to the beach because it brings me out pretty much where I want to be, which is at the back of the boat, looking towards Ben Nevis. So as I arrive at the beach, you decide where's the best view. Now, I was down earlier today, as you saw, so I know I want to come sideways so that the boat is completely surrounded by Ben Nevis in the background. And it's a very bumpy beach. So I want to have a view a bit like that and get those clouds in. I wish there was a bit more cloud above it. It's a bit of a gray sky. I want something better. And I apologize if there's any wind noise. It is very, very windy today. So I'm just setting up just now. And you may hear in the background the distinctive chuff chuff and whistle of the steam train that goes from Fort William to Maleg twice daily and this will probably be its last trip on the way back and it's literally just over there. I photographed it last time I was up here. Uh, you never know, I might do another photograph, a better one. Always try to improve. So that camera is on the small tripod and the legs are really splayed because the wind is coming through in some horrendous gusts and I do not want it to go over. So that one's quite sturdy. I'm not sure if it's going to be high enough for the position I've got just now. You also notice I've got a waterproof beside me because I want to be dry if the rain comes. So I'm going to use the 70. No, no, I'm going to use the 24 to 70. I left the 70 to 200 back at the caravan because I knew I wouldn't be using it. And that's nice. That is nice. So now earlier, uh huh. But earlier I was actually using the seaweed there as a light run in. But I'm going to take this picture first and then see if I want to move and try a different position. So is this right? Let's have a look. i make sure my horizontals are right, everything's the right place. And I'm just going to show you what I am looking at. Right, so this is what I'm looking at. And I want to adjust that slightly so that the hill is all around the boat. And I might just adjust the the position a wee bit there. Okay. So on video it's not looking so great. I'm hoping I can prove my tripod's not quite sturdy, so redo that. There we go. So I'm setting up. Still got a very, very bright bright sky. I don't like the bright sky at all. As you can see on the video, it's just a little bit too bright. So I'm going to press the video again. I'm going to adjust. So to get the sky in, I need to be 
underexposing a lot, but to get the boat in, I need to be here. So I'm going from, right, it's ISO 2000 on this, uh, 3.2, 80th of a second, and then 20th of a second, but that's not what the, uh, the single image will be. So, 400 ISO instead. And it's automatically adjusting. So I want to have a wide, big F stop. So F11, see, tips it down to about a second. So I've zoomed in. I've got nice cloud above the Ben. I just need to expose for that properly. So I'm going to take a picture for that and see what comes out like. I've actually got my release cable sitting somewhere. I'll use that today. So I've taken my first picture, exposing pretty much for the sky. But I've just got to check my focus is right, zooming in on the boat, it uh, looks good. I'm at 400 ISO, which is going to be slightly grainy. But now I'm going to expose for the boat itself. It's one second exposure. That looks okay. That looks really nice. But I think what I'm going to do is adjust a little bit so I've got more of the mountain behind the boat. I used that as lead-in earlier, but I don't know how, oh yeah, it came over here. Uh, arr, it's a bit difficult. Ducks! <laughs> Duck! That one's on a very wide stance because of that. Yep, I know. Oh, bugger, why does that one not want to undo? There we go. Because it was already undone. This one could be the problem. Right. Oh, stop taking pictures! Right, I want to be over here. That's it. So I've repositioned myself. The boat isn't quite as enclosed by the mountain as I would hope. I'm just going to see if I can raise this a little higher. I'd forgotten this has got another reach there. I get a little bit more of the hill behind. So we're going for the eight seconds at the higher level, so hopefully there's just a bit more of the hill surrounding the boat. That looks okay, and I'm going to take back to four seconds, just to try and get that detail. The cloud itself, there's rain coming down from Glen Nevis and out those clouds, and it's just a little hazier than I would like. I like more detail and more punch within those clouds, and I'm not really getting it. That's okay. I'm just going to re reset, make sure everything is nice and level. Try and get a bit more sky in and a little bit more hills in the background. So slight change to the composition to include a pointy hill behind Ben Nevis, which is called Stor Stob Ban. It's great having an expert just out of shot. You'll probably get in shot in a minute just to go. Right, so I've got four seconds. There's detail there. Now I want to get the, the boat back to eight seconds. So from a rainy beach near Fort William, bye for now. Remember, get out, take pictures and have fun. <laughs> bye. Sorry, yeah.